So I watched this uh, very interesting video by Jericho Movie, where he was um, talking about emergence and calling it sort of the god of the gaps for atheists, um, saying that you know they they resort to the time calling thing an emergent property without like, explaining what they mean. And I and I do agree that a lot of uh, a lot of the, the partic particular atheists tend to um, use this word without really knowing what it means. Um, but I think it is a real phenomenon, and so I guess I, w I would want to unpack it. As you know, I'm not an atheist, I'm a theist. Um, but, I, but I think emergence is a real phenomenon, and, it, uh, and, I, and I thought I'd explain what, what is meant by it. Um, probably one of the most common examples of emergence is color. Um, if you look at the molecules that comprise an apple, you will not find redness in any one of them. Uh, so a lot of people will say, okay, so you just combine the molecules of an apple into its particular form, and you know, into all the cells and everything, and, the, and then redness emerges out of that. But even that is not true. Because you see, uh, the wavelengths of light do not contain any color. They're simply wavelengths. Um, color actually emerges from the interaction of the photons hitting the apple and reaching the eyes of the, of the perceiver whose nervous system is uh, uh, it has, ev has evolved to um, to perceive certain wavelengths as certain colors. So the color is actually I wouldn't say it's in the perceiver so much as it's in the inter interaction between the perceiver and the object. Um, and so, uh, and, 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 and that's, and that's really the key to emergence really is, um, just about, you know, most emergent properties you can think of are actually a matter of how they interact with the perceiver. And so in that sense, I think it's a bit, um, I, I think it's a bit folly to try and, uh, put consciousness under that category of emergence. I mean, in, in a sense, I mean, there isn't a sense in which consciousness is emergent in that, uh, you know, in that um, higher and more complex forms of consciousness emerge out of more simple forms. But I think there's also a certain irreducibility of, of oh, maybe not, maybe consciousness isn't the right word, but experience or uh, prehension, as Whitehead put it. Um, Though I think, in a sense, you could reduce consciousness to relationships. Um, consciousness is a relationship between self and environment. Um, but on the other hand, so is matter. And so in a sense, I think if, if consciousness is an emergent property, then so is matter an emergent property. Conscious, the mind and matter uh, co-emerge out of their relationship between one another. Um, and so, in a sense, the, the the one thing to which everything can be reduced is sort of, I guess I would say, um, a relational process. Um, so that the relationships between things are more real than the things themselves. The things emerge out of their relationship to other things. Um, but, but in a sense, I also think consciousness and matter are somewhat irreducible because I think every one of those relationships has both a a mental and material component to it, um, and and so um, the subject object relationship is sort of the primordial relationship out of which other emergent relationships uh, come about. So I, th I think basically that what emergence is, is a thing that is not in the thing itself, but rather in the relationship between the thing and other things. And what people miss out is that um, everything is emergent, pretty much. Um, everything emerges out of some relationship between other things. And so that's why I think, in a sense, atheists, in their whole, in what you call their God of the Gaps argument, don't really go far enough because when, when you get you know further into it you realize how um, 
you know, you can you can call consciousness an emergent property, but but it's so that so is everything else that we could ever know. Um, everything emerges out of relationship between things, and, and that I think is there. There's a Buddhist concept which is like similar to that, which is dependent origination, based the idea that um, everything depends for its existence upon everything else, basically. So, um, uh, nice, uh, I like the video, uh, uh th thanks, thanks for, uh, your, your thoughts, and, um, uh, peace.